Hi, it's Drew at Finale Fireworks. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a special paste function to create multiple copies or instances of the same model with attached firing positions. And in the process, I'll create a Halloween themed Lance set piece. So let's get right to it. For the example today, I'm gonna to use some pre-made models that have positions and Lance already attached. The models are not included in the Finale 3D software and they're not available for purchase directly from Finale but you can purchase them in the eBay store here very cost-effectively. There's a ton of great models to choose from, and I'll include a link in the description of this video below. Let's get to it. First, I have my, my blank show here, which I'm going to paste my models into, and I wanna make a couple changes. So I'll go to the top view, and I'm gonna remove the ground-based firing positions because I'm not going to have any firing positions in the show except for the ones that are attached to the models. Second thing I'll do is I'll go back to the front view, I'll zoom in a bit, and I'll go ahead and hide Origin Man. So there we go. Our show is now ready to paste in the models. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. So if I go to the window menu, you can see that I already have four different shows open. The unnamed show is our show that we're going to use to create the set piece. And the other three shows are the pre-made models. So first we'll go in and grab the Halloween text. Now at the moment you can't see the text and the primary reason is that uh, the position names are so close together that they're obscuring the models and positions. So go ahead and adjust a position setting by going to the positions menu, going to options, and then turning off show tooltips for all positions. All right, now it's still a little bit dark and hard to see. And just so you can see how these models are created, I'll go ahead and go to the file menu. I'll go to render settings and I'll just turn up the brightness temporarily so you can take a look at the model. So now you can see what we got here. The model is, is just a simple 2D model um, with the, in the shape of the text that's, that's been created. And then the little white uh, dots, each one of these represents a firing position, and each one of those will be used for an individual Lance piece. So we'll go ahead and readjust that brightness back down to 0.5. And what I'd like to do now is select the model and including the Lance, which is already attached. You can see if I hit play, there's that Lance effect. So each one of those firing positions has an individual Lance piece on it. What I'm gonna do is copy the model and copy the firing positions and copy the effects, which are the Lances, and then we'll paste them into our final show. So to do that, I'm gonna open the models window from the window menu and then models window. And we have that here. We'll go ahead and select the model and then we'll go ahead and select the effects. All those effects have been combined into a group so they're all here together on one line in the script. I'll choose edit and then copy. And then I'll switch to my main show here. And since there are no models in the show at the, pre at the moment, I can just do edit and use the standard paste function. Later, we're gonna use a special paste function. But here, I can just use the standard paste function. So there it is. And we can see, um, now again, we have some obscuring going on, and that's because the trajectory dots, which are normally used to drag the angle and change the angle of an effect, there are so many so close together, they're obscuring the model. So we can correct that by going up to the show menu, show settings, and choose hide trajectory dots when not selected. So that will make it so the trajectory dots only appear when you mouse over the model. So let's go back and zoom out so we can get a better look. And so there's our text. It's been pasted in exactly as it appeared in the other show. All right, let's grab our next item. Next thing we'll do is we'll write the year. So we will use this at center O in Halloween as the zero, and we'll write 2021 vertically. So let's go grab the number two. So we'll switch over to our set of numbers and you can see them all here. If I play forward the playhead a little bit, you can see them all illuminated. So what I wanna do is select the model that corresponds to the number two and then select the effects that correspond to the number two, which are here. And then again, we'll just do edit, copy, window menu, switch back to our main show, and then we'll do edit. Now, this particular model doesn't exist in this show so I can just do the standard paste option from the menu, from the edit menu. And there's our number two over there on the right. Now, 
we can see that the, the two is not in the right place. To expedite the process of making the video, I figured out the coordinates ahead of time. So what I'm gonna do here is manually enter the coordinates where I'd like that number two to be. And we have coordinates X, Y, Z. So X being left or right, uh, Y being up and down, and Z being forward and back. So for this number two, I'd just like the coordinates to be 0 0.15 in the X coordinate, 5.5 in the Y coordinate, and zero in the Z coordinate. And that'll move that model right up there. Let's go ahead and move the Halloween model a little bit to raise it up to give us some room for two more numbers underneath. So I'll go ahead and double click here and I'll just change the Y coordinate to raise this up to, to three. So that's raising it up about a meter and a half. So there we go, we've got our, our two and our Halloween. I can go ahead and drag the effect back to the beginning here so they're aligned and we can take a look at what we got so far. So that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and do another, uh, the year is 2021, so we'll go ahead and do another two. Now this is where we need our new uh, special paste option. So instead of just simply using the paste menu item again, we will use a paste special option here, which is paste models and positions as new instances. If you're going to paste the same model into a show twice, you have to use this menu item or you will not get the model duplicated. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we've got another model for number two, and you can see it's down there kind of obscured. I'll go ahead and adjust the coordinates for this one. 0.15, 2.5, and zero. And now we've got that model right here. Now, when you use this menu option, edit, uh, excuse me, paste special, paste models and positions as new instances, you don't get the effects as well. So we'll need to, at the end, we'll need to go ahead and populate those, uh, this number two with some effects. But first let's get our lens piece, our overall design done, and we'll come back to that. So we'll go back to the numbers, and this time we'll go ahead and grab number one. So I'll select the effects for number one, and select the model for number one, and click edit, copy, switch back to our main show, Edit now at this moment, there's no model for number one in the show, so I can just use the standard paste command. So there's our number one. It's a little bit off screen, so we'll go ahead and just adjust those coordinates in the models window. So it'll be 0, uh, 0.8 and zero for the X, Y, Z coordinates. And there we go. I'll just drag the effects here back to the beginning. And there you can see we've got the two and the one. Again, we still need to add effects there. One more model to go. I'll switch to another show which has this awesome witch's hat. We'll go ahead and select the model and select all the effects. Edit, copy, go back to our main show, do edit, and there's no witch's hat in this show yet, so I can use the standard paste command and that will preserve the effects. So we've got the Halloween hat and we'll go ahead and just adjust the coordinates. So for the X coordinate, I'll enter 0.15. For the Y coordinate, we want it to be quite a ways up in the air, so seven meters. And then um, for the Z coordinate, zero. And there we go. I can uh, click over here to deselect it, and it looks pretty good. So the last step now is to just add some effects to the number two. And we can use one of the um, position, one of the position shortcuts here to select all the firing positions on the number two. But the problem with doing so is that it will also select all the firing positions on the other number two. So we need to make sure that we're only selecting these firing positions here. So I'll just hold the shift key on my keyboard and drag over that number two, or I could also use the selection box icon here. It does the same thing to select that number two. And then I'll just go ahead and go to window and bring up my effects window. I'll go to per show effects, which lists all the effects in this show. And I'll go ahead and make this number magenta to match the others. So it looks just like that. Now to give it a little bit more realism, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll select these items and I'm just going to bring them over here to the right. And to make them so they don't all light at once, I'll go to the script menu and I'll go to sequences, spread out evenly. And we'll just set it to about three quarters of a second. And that will stagger the ignition times of the individual lances. And then to give it some randomization, I'll just go to script 
and I'll go to reorder and I'll go to randomize order. And then to clean up the timeline a little bit, I'll do one more thing in the script menu. So I'll go to groups and I'll choose combine as group, which is the same as pressing G on the keyboard. So I've got that all ready and I'll go ahead and bring that back so it's lined up with the ignition of the rest of the lance piece. And I'll also go ahead and bring these ones back to the beginning as well. So we've got everything lined up and we've got a 30 second lance piece and it's starting to look pretty good. So, okay, I've got that centered there in the view and let's take a look at what we got. Okay, that looks great. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it helpful. Happy Halloween 2021. Again, if you're interested in these models, they're available uh, from per purchase on eBay from one of the members of the Finale 3D community. Um, I will put a link to that eBay store in the description below. Be sure to check out all the other great videos on the Finale 3D YouTube channel. And if you'd like to be notified about new videos as they come out, don't forget to subscribe.